Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Hanging out with former Rocky and current Rockies analyst Ryan Spielberg. He was our guest tonight on Xfinity Monday Live. All right, we're talking about this team, 8 of 10. How big is this upcoming series, really this upcoming homestand? You got six games before the All-Star break, three against the Diamondbacks, followed by three against the Mariners. What what it, like what level do I have to say like it's extremely <laughs> large and important for this team? Because I think when we had a conversation earlier about all-star break and then you get into the trade deadline, this last couple of games, especially within division, you have three against the Arizona Diamondbacks, have an opportunity to make some hay. Then you go trying to feel good about yourself because the team has played below 500 at home. Try to get back to 500, so at least you feel like Coors Field is an advantage to you. They played very well on the road. This is your opportunity because here's the last thing I always say. If you start losing prior to All-Star break, you start losing friends. That's how it works out. <laughs> and so if you don't want to lose a friend, play better. How big is that from a mental standpoint, too? Can it make a big difference when you go into the All-Star break on a winning streak versus going in on a losing streak? Yeah, because there's opportunities, too, for the front office to look at what the team just did prior to All-Star break, and then they may reinforce something. They might bring extra help from the outside, or they may just have a conversation within the organization. This is the path that we see the team moving, and that's important. You always want to play with confidence. You always want to play with, with a head of steam, and don't forget, there's still about 72 games left mm -hmm. to go. That's a lot of baseball games. Last thing you want to do is waste opportunities, and the Rockies have wasted several opportunities early in the season with their poor play at home. We talked a lot about pitching. One guy we didn't have a chance to hit on was Wade Davis, the new closer. He's almost made everybody forget about Greg Holland, who, by the way, isn't necessarily having a great year yeah. following up what he did last year here in Colorado. How big do you think Wade Davis has been for this team? We talked about the problems with John Gray. We talked about Brian Shaw. At least they've got Wade Davis. He's been great. Here's the aspect about Wade Davis. We still haven't seen him at his best. Yeah. That's the important part for me when I look at Wade and I, I think about the hiccups he's had along the road. The Texas blown save was obviously pretty bad, uh, but there's other aspects of Wade Davis that he's brought stability, he's brought levity, he's quiet, he, he brings a calmness for that, for that bullpen in the back end because when everything was going bad for that stretch for the bullpen, here's Wade standing in front of his locker whenever he, went, whenever he went through his tough times and would answer the questions. I feel bad for Greg Holland, to be honest, when I think about free agency, especially this last offseason. It's another tale for front office to realize, don't hold off to the last second and make a guy miss a spring training because this is what you get. You're not giving a guy an actual opportunity to prepare himself for this season. Put your hat on. Okay. Peer into your crystal ball. Okay. What happens to this team in the second half of the season? I think they rally around each other. I think there's so much good talent. I think when I'm looking at the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks and the Giants, they're about to be at full strength. The Giants are going to get healthy. The Dodgers are going to make moves to make themselves better. Uh, the Diamondbacks are going to do the same thing. The Rockies, for me, with the group that they have on paper, roster construction with the guys, if you look at it and you start matching them up, the Rockies are just as good as those teams. It's playing with confidence and understanding. You can match up against every single one of these if you play clean baseball, you don't walk anybody, and you trust your stuff. If you don't play that way, those other teams will pass you by. They need to do that. You need to keep shaving, and all will be right in <laughs> yeah. the Rockies world. Philly, love having love you on, it. man. Thanks, Thanks man. so much for coming by, and thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.